If these characters were cut in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, I wouldn't care. This video isn't me wanting these particular characters cut, more so if they were cut, I wouldn't care. First up is Chaozu. Chaozu, as you guys know, was introduced with Tien, and they were rival students to the Kami students Goku, Krillin, and Yamcha. After the end of Dragon Ball going into Super, his role got rather limited with some of his most prominent fights included him blowing himself up against Nappa and his fight with the Ginyu Force on King Kai's planet, which was filler, right? Chaozu is often forgotten and if Sparking Zero didn't bring him back as a playable character, I don't think anyone would care, care including myself, I wouldn't care. We could see him potentially contribute to Tien's moveset, adding him in similar to Fighters. Another character I wouldn't care if they were cut is Grandpa Gohan. Grandpa Gohan was introduced during the Dragon Ball arc for the Fortune Teller Baba tournament. His only fight we saw him in was against Goku. Due to this, his showings are rather weak, and it makes it a bit harder to give him an evolved moveset from Budokai Tenkaichi 3. One could say they can make use of some of Master Roshi's later techniques, and since he was stu a student of Master Roshi, in theory could give him the ability to use those. I mean, they gave him the Kamehameha. Majin Buu Pure Evil is yet another character I don't care if he was cut. He was a character I think wasn't needed as Super Buu overshadows this form. While appearing in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, he hasn't appeared much in many games as playable, maybe as a reference point or makes a cameo or the mobile games. It wouldn't be surprising if he didn't return. I personally would not care. Another character I strongly would not care returned was Pilaf Machine. In my opinion, Pilaf Machine was more so a gag, while in Dragon Ball offered to be somewhat of a challenge to Goku, but still a gag in itself, as Pilaf Machine was obsessed with stopping Goku, also getting the Dragon Balls, and Pilaf wanted to be the supreme ruler of the world, but you saw how that went. Now, I think when I say that, people might start getting, uh, I don't know, I use Pilaf Machine, but I still wouldn't care if he re if he didn't return. Getting into some more controversial territory in this video, first up is Yajirobe. I wouldn't care if he didn't return. He didn't return in Region Blast 2, and quite frankly, I'm not sure if he'll return in Sparking Zero. As someone who hasn't fought after his fight with Vegeta, most notably just cutting off his tail, I don't think it makes much sense if he returned. In the later Dragon Ball games, he hasn't been made playable, even being absent in Xenoverse 2. If we're gonna get characters with very few fights, I'd rather the team focus on more relevant characters from later points in Dragon Ball Z, most notably Dragon Ball Super and even the Dragon Ball Super movies. Salsa from Cooler's Revenge should also be cut, more so I wouldn't mind if he was cut. A character I actually made use of in Rage and Blast 2, yes it stings a little, but at the same time I wouldn't mind much. I just think that if we're going for more relevancy, Salsa from Cooler's Revenge doesn't really hit the bell as a memorable character more so than Cooler, Cooler being Frieza's brother. I mean, that just says a lot. Other characters like Tapion and Harutigan might make some people upset, but I'm gonna just say this in this video. I don't want giant characters to be in Sparking Zero, so with that in mind, I already don't want Harutigan to be playable, and Tapion, I just feel like he's not as relevant, but that's just more so my opinion. I wouldn't mind if he was removed, but I definitely want Harutigan to be removed. Some other two characters that might be controversial for some include Cybermen and Cell Jr. I will make it noted that I just want these characters to be NPCs, I still would like to fight them as they're often treated as fodder enemies that you fight against. As we saw this happen in several of the Dragon Ball games, most notably in Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and Raging Blast 2, you can often fight these enemies with multiple versions being fought against. And probably the most controversial two characters, I'm sure someone's going to try to say that I don't know what I'm talking about, or I'm stupid, or I need to stop being a YouTuber, is Kid Trunks and Goten. And my main reasoning for these two is, is that I 
feel as though that Sparking Zero should include the older version of these two characters. Kid Trunks already has a buttload of versions of himself, but the one version that we often don't see explored much is the end of Z version of Trunks or Teen Trunks. The only version of Teen Trunks that exists that we know of is from the history of Trunks, which he's a character referred to as Teen Trunks. Perhaps they can make use of some things and give him costumes with that version or even giving Teen Trunks his end of Z look. And same thing with Goten. If he had his Teen Goten, we can get his end of Z look as well as the superhero costumes they had. And maybe even throw in a hypothetical Gotenks with him being a little taller, maybe basing it off of heroes. But at that point, it's more so perhaps they can give us a standalone Gotenks who then has a costume that's more based off of an older Gotenks. I personally say that if these characters were cut, it wouldn't phase me much because I feel as though they're just rather limited in their moveset. And again, I know someone's going to say you don't know what you're talking about. And we can even look at fighters. They cut Goten and Trunks in favor of Gotenks. I mean, who's more popular, Gotenks or Trunks? kid trunks and goats in by themselves my biggest reason for removing the two is honestly just because goat sinks is better as i outlined overall this video might make a bunch of people say i don't know what i'm talking about and quite frankly at the start of the video i stated that this video isn't me wanting these particular characters cut more so if they were cut i wouldn't care yes i will admit harut again being cut i almost certainly want that shit to happen because i don't want giant characters in sparking zero and i'm gonna make another video going over why i don't think giant characters should return in sparking zero and how they in my opinion shouldn't return because it would mess up the flow of battles but until then go ahead and hit the like button if you guys enjoy this video subscribe for more dragon ball sparking zero i will keep you guys posted up when we get official information and i'll also entertain a lot of these video topics so definitely go ahead and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later makai san